Hello, everybody. In this video, let's talk about the ego, the issue of me, the issue of I. Actually, it's a big topic, and probably you haven't seen it in many different writings, books, and different people have different ideas about that part, from different perspectives, which was great. However, in this video, let's look at our ego from the perspective of neurons. So from the perspective of neurons, actually it's the, the ego of the I, the concept I, the concept me, is a bunch of neurons, neuron paths, neuron circuits running through our head. Because it's come from our neurons, so it's a similar to thoughts, because thoughts also come from our neuron activities. So in that sense, we can say that the ego or the constant me is sort of an illusion, isn't it? However, most people don't think so. We think, wow, well, yeah, it's really true to have something called self, called me. This is because everybody thinks in this way. Everything in the way that I, you, she, he, they. Because this kind of concept is so entrenched, and uh, almost all the people around us are holding the same concept. In essence, it's a kind of a strong enhancement. And in that situation, it's very difficult to feel the emptiness of the self because this kind of a situational pressure, right? And also, now look at all of this, the whole society fabric. We are keep enforcing the concept of individualism, the ego, the self, the identity. It's just really enhance this concept of the psychological I, the psychological me. Of course, we have the physical body. That's very obvious, unquestionable. But in, more, in our modern life, we overthink a lot. And in our mind, we more refer to the psychological me, the ego stuff, right? We care about the identity. We care about the benefit of the self. So we tend to be selfish. We compete. Uh, we, compete. we argue. So this is always out of the self. So as we said before, it's a, the ego or self is a bunch of neurons. So when they start working, like the thoughts, when neurons start working, thoughts disappear. So does the ego. But we just keep running these neuron circuits or loops in our head all the time. But you know, from the perspective of the biology, if the neuron is active, it is consuming our energy. It's consuming the oxygen, and we need to keep feeding these neurons to keep active. And nowadays, we have so many assumptions, and of course, many of which are illusions, but we are still holding them. So it's easy for us to get caught up in this kind of web of thinking, the web of conditional thinking, causes, effects, whatever. Also, including the egos. So that's why if we, have, if we are holding so many thoughts, so many mental loops all the time, it just drains our energy. 
That's why, you know, when we strive for something because of the ego, we find it so difficult. Because the ego is so active, it is just consuming our mental energy. And how can we have the energy for the things we want to achieve? But people don't want that stuff to disappear. They want to hold on to it, hold on to self, because they fear being empty. However, the fear of being empty is the consequence of the ego. So you say here, it's a loop. You are either in the ego loop, or you are not. If you have ego, you will fear being empty, and you want to hold on to the ego. But if you don't have the ego, you feel nothing. You only find peace and calm. So, let's realize this, okay? Everything is a loop. But why mindfulness practice? We begin to realize there's option to choose which loop we can fall into. And what's the problem to have the self or the ego stuff? Here, we don't judge whether it's good or not, but we should realize that. Our lot of mental challenges are relevant to the self, to the ego. The Indian philosopher Krishnamurti said, Self is the only source of all conflicts. Think about our craving mind. We keep craving for something, right? Think about our selfishness. We are greedy. We are impatient. And uh, it's easy for us to hold aversion towards others. But we never realize that. How empty is it to be the self? And how empty the self is, right? Now, in our modern life, we are stressed. We are anxious. We fear. Think about all these mental challenges. If we don't have the ego, we don't have that thought. Do we still have these kind of mental challenges? Now think about the general society. The lack of compassion. It's also a reflection of the bigger egos everyone's holding. It's easy to have the aversion towards each other than have the true compassion for each other. Right? But I would say, because everybody has a different life experience, but the thing is that everybody must have realized the, the issue of ego in one way or another, because we are always facing all kinds of mental challenges. But understanding the influence of the ego on ourselves is really challenging, and most people won't go into that. But think about our real life. We have go for all kinds of entertainment activities. We watch TV, we play games, we make love. All these activities can give, give us, all these activities can give us a moment to forget the self, to forget the ego. Then we can relax. I think, of, think about other activities. Peop oh, think about other activities. The people drink a lot of wines, or they're alcoholic, so to speak. And people can be workaholic. And we can overfocus all kinds of things because we can forget the ego or the self in that sense. And also people 
take drugs, definitely it's very dangerous because it's easy to get addiction. But the, the motivation of doing that is also partially because we can rely on drugs to re-regulate to re-regulate our mind, to let us forget the ego stuff for a while. So people may ask, how to get rid of ego? Well, it's a tricky question. But the first step is to realize the ego in our all kinds of life situations, which means that we have to be mindful at each moment to notice the influences. Then you will find your own solution because your own wisdom you can find when you are mindful. Try to be as compassionate as possible. Sometimes we need to confront, not to confront other people, but to confront your own mental loops. I hope this video can give you some kind of basic idea of ego. And I wish you a good day, a peaceful and a calm day.